The European Commission is investing more than $350 billion to drive innovation. Our very own Rochelle Kufo spoke to Carlos Moedas, the European Commissioner of Research, Science and Innovation, and she asked him why investment is taking center stage right now in so many EU countries. We had the public finances, structural reforms, and now we really needed this push for investment that the Juncker plan will bring to the table. And so we hope that we'll have investors from all over the world that come to Europe. So investment closing out that last piece of the puzzle. Now, as we look at one of the aspects, Horizon 2020, the biggest EU science program, now what sort of role will that play in the investment plan? That, uh, I mean, it's a crucial role because the, uh, the Horizon 2020 is the biggest tool in the world in terms of research and science and innovation. And what you have learned, and I think that politicians learn from doing, is that there's just three ways that you can get actually better or that you can get your people to have a better life. One is that really you increase productivity by working more hours. The second is that you work the same for, for a lesser price or for a lesser salary. And the third is through innovation and science. That's where you really get up the ladder of quality. That's where you get the products actually to, to be able to get a better life, better companies, better jobs. And so the Horizon 2020 is exactly about that, how you create knowledge and then how you transform that knowledge into products. And you know, I normally say that Europe is extremely good in transforming euros into knowledge. We are basically less than 7% of the population in the world and we create more than 30% of the knowledge in the world. But then we're not as good or we should get better in terms of transforming that knowledge back into euros, meaning back into products. And I think that's really where we have to work together also with the United States to get stronger at that side of the innovation as a bigger and broader picture because innovation is not just about the technology, it's about how you create the product. Now, as we talk about some of that transformation, are there any particular sectors or projects that are really going to be focused on by this investment? Look, uh, uh, in terms of the, the Juncker plan, the idea is that we'll help the European economy to go from what I called in the past uh, a rent-seeking economy, an economy that just seeks rents, to a knowledge economy, an economy based on knowledge. And there you're talking about science, talking about research, you're talking about the digital world and uh, this merging between the physical and the digital. And then on the Horizon 2020, which is the program that I run, will be much more focused. And uh, the four areas that I've actually, uh, with the present, decided would be areas of the future, they are basically food, water, energy, and health. And, and why those four? four? There's two reasons. One, I think that those are the areas that will be the most challenging for the future. I mean, I mean, you really look at the world and you think about how you're going to feed the planet in the next 10 to 20 years. I mean, this is a big challenge. You will have more 2 billion people to feed. So you really have to work on research about it. And then food is related to water because uh, I think well, a friend of mine who is a scientist used to say that actually food is water imported <laughs> so it's really it's really about water if you want to get uh, uh, water and then energy i mean if you don't have energy you can have these two and of course without these three energy food and water you don't have house but that's the the, the i would say the fundamental reason then there's another reason is that we are through a revolution of actually going from a physical world where all these industries were basically just physical to a world where these industries will also be digital. Now having the plan is one thing, but how will you actually entice people to invest in these policies and invest in this plan? I think that the most important thing that you can do is to do the right reforms in the countries for the private sector to actually feel attracted to. I mean the, the private sector is about being rational. I mean, you have your shareholders, you have your interests, and if your interests are not aligned, you don't do it. And so Europe has to create this ecosystem where people are attracted, where people actually want to, to invest. And for that, you have to actually challenge each in, country in Europe to actually lower down the barriers for businesses. And, and so that's why we have to so much focus in these structural reforms and how can we actually help countries to do it. And we've set up a, a 
policy support facility where you actually go to the countries and design with them and say, look, this is what you should do in this area or that area. And so countries will see the European Commission as a resource and not really a punishment or some moral entity that is always trying to make them do things. The, the European Commission is the resource and the European Union is, is the global project for prosperity and peace. I mean, it's, it's the way I see it.